is a book review of Masters of British Comic Art by David Roach. Now, this is a real chunky volume and it's from Rebellion. Now, Rebellion bring out loads and loads of brilliant British comic books, reference books like this, as well as the comic strips from the 70s, 60s, etc. I think Rebellion are really doing an amazing job. And this is a real chunky volume that represents great amount of material. Well, what's in it? Well, I'm just going to quickly flick through. Now, it's it's in colour and black and white, of course, predominantly. Came out in 2020 and includes just the whole range of evolution of the comic form in the UK. So you've got this one, Ali Sloper's Half Holiday. You've got Half Penny Illustrated Chips for Wonder. You've got Corky the Cat. So it's got a lot of great text. Also, you've got comics in the nursery. So you've got like the Teddy Tale Annual. And then Disneyland, Bimbo Book. And you've got some of these road. The depressing thing when, when you flick through this book, and it's, it's an absolute gem of a book, is that you see this great artwork, got some description and some uh, lots of information, lots of magazines, comics that I've never heard of. And you read it and you think, oh, I must find out more. And it's very hard to find. In America, vast amounts of obviously these books and Rebellion is doing a great job of bringing lots of this stuff back but a lot of this stuff is very hard to find and you know the sacred eye of Sat Pura looks great wonderful brilliant panels artwork George Heath funny wonder 1935 and it'd be very tricky to find I'm certain you probably struggle to get copies of it the sphere Christmas 1940s. And you've got here Top Spot. Lots of these thrillers, picture libraries. And also you've got some original art pages here Captain Scarlet, all the like Trigon Empire. Merry Christmas from your Tiger Pals of 1971. The Rise of the Agency. So it goes through all the various. You've got Spanish, obviously, Steel Claw, Mirabelle. This page after page of just great. Brilliant British, and obviously many of it, Spanish artists as well who created the, like the boyfriend, schoolgirls, picture library. And you've got Princess Tina, or the, well, yes, it was Princess Tina, 1967, original comic art page. Just stunning, stunning artwork pages. You've got Jane Bond. Now, why isn't there a collection of Jane Bond? To me, that should be the newspaper strips, of course, Fast Mac, like Carol Day, brilliant, Frank Bellamy, of course, Garth. Now, Garth, I think there were some collections of that. I haven't got any. I, would, I really loved Garth when it was coming out, when it came out. And you've got stacks and stacks of brilliant, just page after page. And also goes to Underground Alternatives. Now, I have to say, a lot of this stuff, Underground Alternatives, I didn't really follow. Uh, graphic access, little nympho <laughs> in slumberland. Then, of course, you go. This was the relief actually when I got this book. I was thinking it's going to be all about 2080, great magazine as comic as it is, and Star Lord, of course, when it came out. And but it's not, it's a, there's a decent selection of about 2080, but it's not massive. It's not like the book is all about Judge Dredd. Of course, Judge Dredd is so dominant now and, and good because he's a great character. But it's just that, so it's nice to actually, these books actually, and of course, there's brilliant bits that come. Dave McKean, got a bit here, excellent illustration, more Dave McKean, violent cases. To me, Dave McKean is the best, best artist we've got now. I think he just produces so many brilliant black dog, cages, etc. Mr. Punch. Superb artist. Of course, he does advertising, illustrations, record covers. He's a musician, a man, unlimited talents. British Invasion, of course, over in the UK, Brian Bolland, etc. And then there's Preacher and Doc Savage. Oh, it's pretty good. And again, just another thing I like about this book, it actually features the artist. You've got Shirley Bellwood. It's got obviously 1931 to 2016. Got some, so you've got great samples. Sadly, there's no biography. 
Now, I would have loved a little biography. Maybe there's a biography at the back. I don't know. It'd be unfair to say there's no biography when maybe there is. But within the sections, when you're going from like Harry Bishop, uh, Simon Bisley, Brian Bolland, and you just go through it, just full page. And, and they, again, another depressing thing is that with these full page, this artwork, you look at it and think, wow. That's, it looks amazing. That looks a great story. I would love to find more examples and very hard to find. You can obviously look at auction sites, search around, but I mean, I even actually rushed, rushed and got some copies of this actually because this looks great. Uh, Spaceship Lollipop. I know that sounds really, but it's a, a kiddie's book. Uh, brilliant. But the artwork is just so wonderful, real sort of of its time. 1978, just beautiful. And this is in the Magic comic. Anyway, just brilliant. Complete. Now, this would be a brilliant animation. Looks like animation. It's like you would imagine a, a TV series. This would have been superb. So you got Tiger, you got a Wicked Wonder, Star Lord, School Friend, and something Doctor Who. Scott Girls Library, just page after page after just awesome artwork. A like, whole load of people, Norman Lee, Brian Lewis there, Harry Linford Field, Valiant Annuals. I love the I love annuals. So you've got just these annual covers. They're just brilliant. Now, if you want to search out some the, the artwork of not the artwork particularly, there's a there's there's auction sites where that sell lots of this sort of original artwork. Also, of course, there's the brilliant 30th century comics. Just go there. At the moment, they're not open. At the moment, they're just doing it as a mail order. Uh, I look forward to the day when they reopen. But uh, it's just the best comic shop with lots, thousands, thousands of brilliant UK comics, as well as, of course, US comics, etc. And I'm, I'm certain you could find some of this material, though I think it's this, this book really has a lot of obscure stuff. And you just got, again, some superb artwork at the end, obviously coming into this uh, 21st century. And again, my favorite features heavily at the end, and that's Dave McKean. So this book is, has to be on any UK comic fan, well actually any comic fan's bookshelf. This is just a brilliant book from David Roach from Rebellion Books, and I would recommend you check out Rebellion Books for lots of, they bring out ones like Johnny Future, uh, that's superb, and also Marnie the Fox was a recent one, which was also superb. So great volume, this one. 